Hey, I'm Ashley Garcia, and welcome to this month's Hashtag All The Feels. This month, we are looking into Psalms 42 and discussing the emotion of restlessness. In this life and culture, we are trained to always be looking towards the next thing. I am sure you have heard or even said this phrase, when things slow down, then. You can finish that sentence with a number of things. When things slow down, I will take that vacation. I will finish that degree. I will pursue that dream. The point is that we busy our minds with the next event, the next project, next big thing that we never allow our souls to be at rest. Restlessness comes in a variety of ways. You could feel restless in your job because you're not at the level or position that you had hoped for. You could feel restless in your marriage or relationships because it is not progressing like you once thought it would. You can even feel restless in your relationship with God because of dreams and promises not yet fulfilled. Being restless and striving for better things is not always the issue. The issue comes when our souls are in a constant state of uneasy and we never allow the time to sit in the presence of God. The Father's heart for His children is that we would be able to rest in Him. It speaks of this in Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When we neglect this word from the Lord and continue to strive and be restless, then we become discontent with our lives. Discontentment leads us to take on more tasks, take on more responsibilities, take on something that will hopefully fill the void of discontentment. When all along, these things are cheap and unsatisfying substitutes for the presence of God. Only God can satisfy the deep thirst of the soul. 1 Peter 2, 2-3 says it like this, Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. If we would instead bring these burdens of restlessness and discontentment to the Lord, we would taste of how good He is. Just like a baby craves milk, it would leave us craving after more of God, hungrier than we were before because we have tasted of God's goodness. This is what I call a restless contentment. It leaves our souls and hearts restless after the things of God, but it brings contentment to other areas of our lives. We may have things we are not satisfied with, but because we have first satisfied ourselves and our souls in God, it brings everything else into alignment with Him. The psalmist in Psalms 42 even speaks three different times of his soul being downcast within him. Instead of him seeking out other encouragements, and looking for things to occupy his soul, he tells himself to hope and praise the Lord. The Lord is the keeper of our souls and we long to rejoice in him. Often in seasons of restlessness or in spiritually dry seasons, we start to doubt the promises of God. We begin to wonder if he will really do all that he said he would do. We may know the right thing to believe in our heads, but our hearts doubt and struggle to accept that he will follow through with his plans and promises. In those times, I encourage you to do what the psalmist did. Even in the midst of being downcast and doubting God's goodness, he praised and remembered where the Lord had brought him from. Lean into the faithfulness of God and he will carry your soul to a place of rest and contentment. As you study Psalms 42 with your group, I encourage you to genuinely look at your life and recognize those places you have allowed restlessness and discontentment to creep in and allow the Lord to work in you to give your soul rest. Amen.